And I must say, this is a, quite a good fight. Where both men are giving as good as they get. And as expected, the knees of Ignashov are doing their damage, while the strong hooks, especially the right one, by Lord Van Damme, also show that Ignashov has to be very careful here indeed. by Van Damme. Now, if he just could sustain that attack, a barrage of punches could go on doing that. Because he's just punching one, two, three, and that's it. The strain of the fight is clearly visible on the face of Knezhov. These two men are well matched. Body kick there by Van Damme, who is able to kick quite high, and he doesn't use it that often. Too bad, because it would definitely be a great addition to his already formidable arsenal of techniques. Talking to his trainer, Tom Harron, he said that if only Lloyd would use those leg, those high kicks a bit more, because he's very flexible and he can do that so easy. Knees there by Ignashev. Van Damme shouldn't wait that long. Because he's giving away so much in points there. Even though much of the knees are blocked. You can see that the left arm of Van Damme is protecting his body, but at the same time, that means that there is less defense in his face. So you should be careful there, because we know how easy it is for Ignashov to lift the knee to the uh, facial area. He does that so well. And the lumps seem to be hurt now, because there is no response to all these knee attacks. And once again, a knee to the face. It looks like Van Damme is really very, very tired. Well, this round definitely goes to the Russian Alexei Ignashov. Yeah, Van Damme. A hard time there in this round. You should be very careful here because when there is no answer, when there is no return in techniques, the referee may, may administer a standing eight count. And that, of course, is something he doesn't want at all. Round four in this interesting fight between the tall man from Belarus, Alexei Ignashov, and his opponent in red, Lloyd Van Damme. Showed. Well, often I've seen um, 
Ignashov in this shape. Obviously those kicks and punches by Van Damme are really getting to him. And Van Damme would do well now to mount some more pressure to pile up the punches. And he's letting him off the hook. And that's just too bad. Good knee there, the face of Van Damme. And those knees can do a lot of damage. Bone to bone contact. But again, you see how easy it is for Ignashov to lift those, those knees. Well, of course, uh, Van Damme's being shorter. Doesn't make things easier for him. Once again, now, these techniques are doing a lot of damage. And for the and Dan should be careful not to get injured too much because if one of those knees might hurt his eyebrows, the fight could be well over. Time and time again, those knees are being lifted and they hit and connect with the facial area of Lloyd Van Damme. I tell you, I've seen many a fighter go down even when they were hit by lesser knees from Alexei Nashov. So just imagine how Van Damme must feel now. He's in, he's in trouble. He's in trouble because he's tired. He's being hurt by knees. And then, I've never seen him this tired before. Always normally marching forward, always being able to uh, retaliate an attack, but he just stands there and has to take all the knees being thrown by Alexei Neshev. And this fight is not going right for Lloyd Van Damme. He's being swept from his legs. And the only thing he can do is try to last until the end of the round. Deadly tired. But this round once again goes to Alexei Nashov, who is piling up the points, putting lots of pressure on Lloyd Van Damme. And I wonder what they can say there in the corner of this, of this man to be able to motivate him a bit more. You can see the face of Van Damme. Says enough. Yeah, young Alexei Nashov seems to be getting stronger, even though he's deadly tired. of retaliation by Van Damme. He's only standing there, waiting for things to happen, waiting for Ignashov to throw those knees and hoping the best of it. Fifth round, last and final round. And well, if Van Damme wins it, he will have to win this round. He will have to go for an all-out offensive. Because if he doesn't do that, the fight will be definitely lost here. Well, a standing eight count there, right and so, but on the other hand, there must be something wrong with Van Damme because this is not the man we know. This is not the fighting machine that we've seen shine so often. Something is wrong with Van Damme. He's either ill or injured. But this is it, the fight's over. Alexei Nashov is given the victory because the Lloyd Van Damme is no longer able to continue. And undoubtedly, we will hear later the real reason for that. Because another type of a man to give up a fight just like that. Something must be wrong there. He's 
either ill or injured and not feeling well. <laughs> But of course, this does not detract anything of the victory of uh, Alexei Ignashov, who won fair and square. As we can see here. Well, the winner in this fight, Alexei Ignashov. And he had a very disillusioned and disappointed Lloyd Van Dyke.